What's up guys, welcome back to Dummy Tech Talk. Today we've got a pretty uh, pretty cool video we're excited for. We're going to be in unboxing and installing an Auga horn on my dad's golf cart. A what? Auga horn. Auga. <laughs> he doesn't know yet, so we're going to It's a surprise. Him. We're going to unbox this thing in front of your eyes and ours. Yeah. There it is. Look at that. A bag. <laughs> oh, nice one. Big. Is that gonna fit? We'll find out. Right. So, antique horn is what it's called. Uh, Ugo horn. But yeah, that's it. Um, and we'll we'll test it out before we put it on, actually. But I'm curious to hear what it sounds like. It's been a while. I had one well, on my vehicle for a long time. We're gonna pause the video, get this thing open, and show you guys what it sounds like. All right. So we're testing it on a battery just to hear what it sounds like. <laughs> That's pretty loud. Uh, that's gonna be fun. Well, we're gonna put it on. All right, so now we're gonna take the old one off, the old horn, just a 10 mil bolt. It's on there. Pretty good. So we you gotta break it loose with a breaker bar. It's not being nice. All right, so it's pretty loose now. All right, so we got this one off, that bolt there. On a horn, there's just two wires. So just pull them off, a little tongue and groove, a little spade wires. So this one comes with its own hardware of wires. Pop these off, throw them away. Yeah, we'll just use the factory one. And uh, we'll just connect them to it. Now, you do have to have them positive and negative here. There's two of them, so positive or negative. So this one is our positive here, and that's our negative. So all we gotta do is, there's only two wires. Now one, no matter what color, one will be darker than the other, and the other one will be lighter than the other. So obviously darker is your ground, lighter is your power. So we're gonna hook the lighter color to this one. Actually, I'll do it that way. Kinda can't see it here. Just feel for it and slide it on until it stops. That's one. Now the other. So we can test it before we actually mount it too. Yep, which we will do. All right, Travis, you do the honors of honking that's, the horn. That's gonna be loud. You sure you're good yep. there? All right. Oh, ready? Yep. Oh my gosh, that is loud. So that works <laughs> really, really well. And Travis, if you could hand me the mounting hardware. Yep. The bolt and nut. The one's a square. It slides in on the side there. Yep, it just slides right in. It's got a little slot right here. It just slide it right in, baby. Sorry guys, I kind of can't see here. I'm working from the bottom. And that right there, and it holds it from spinning also. So we just mount it right there, slide the bolt right through. And now we just Bolt it in, hopefully. You know, easier said than done, right? Everything is hooked up, wires-wise. It's not as easy as it looks. Yeah, I don't know. If you, I don't even know if it looks easy, but uh, definitely is not easy. Travis, if I can get you to assist me here. Yep. What do you need, man? Just uh, make sure this thing doesn't move when I type. Or if the horn is pointing up and water gets in it, water sits in it, it won't work because it's just an electric motor. My arms hurt. All right, we're good. All right, guys. Well, uh, there it goes. We just installed it, and uh, it works. works. Yeah. <laughs> if you like that video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you didn't, you know, hit the down one, I guess. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys later.